I'm here showing you, showing you the lift in action. I've got it set up into a position where the wheel is up. I've got it in wheelie mode, <laughs> if you like. And I'm gonna take the, the wheels off shortly. But look how stable that is. It's such a stable stand. Hey guys. Hey, I'm over here. Focus. And I'm over here too. <laughs> what are we talking about today? Let me show you. We are gonna be looking, oh, let's turn my ignition on before my, uh, my tracker goes off. I don't wanna start spinning this around too quickly. Are we on? No, we're not, the key's too far away. Oh, I'm gonna get a phone call in a minute about my tracker. Tell you what we're gonna do. I'm gonna quickly turn the tracker off. See, having a tracker on your bike is a fantastic, fantastic idea. But when you're trying to do things to it in the workshop, you've got to remember to turn it off, otherwise you get a phone call and it's a complete pain in the ass. <coughs> disarmed, I haven't even disarmed it. Security settings, movement mode, service mode, save and go back. It's a really good tracker if you're interested in it. Mine is from a company called, I'm on the app and I can't even see the name of the company. Bike track, yeah, bike track. Well, I need to edit that because all my details on that. Bearing in mind, I have got a padded floor. But look at that. Be careful, I don't scratch my, uh, let me just let it down a little bit. I don't want to scratch my windscreen. There we go. Now, I've got to be honest, I can't be without this, th th this lift. I just cannot be without it. And it's not difficult to move around, even on a padded floor. It's, uh, it's, it's quite easy. The benefits of having this. So I've got it up on here right now. I'm, ki I'm killing two birds with one stone. I'm here showing you, showing you the lift in action. I've got it set up into a position where the wheel is up. I've got it in wheelie mode, <laughs> if you like. And I'm gonna take the, the wheels off shortly. But look how stable that is. It's such a stable, a stable stand. I'm not saying you, you couldn't knock it over if you tried. I'm sure you could. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the wheels off, but before I do that, because I need to put new tires on, the tires are absolutely wrecked on this bike. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the wheels off, take it to, the, to a tire sensor and get them, my, my, my tires changed. Uh, it's a lot cheaper by, by doing it, by taking the wheels yourself in the back of your car. Um, you'll save yourself, well, I, I saved myself, I worked out I saved myself 140 pounds by doing that um, because of all the fitting charges and I buy my tires direct online. Right, so, uh, I'm going to show you all the different positions that you can put this in. So this is in the wheelie mode. Now what we're going to do, just by uh, loosening the valve at the bottom, it will lower the bike down. Now you can take it down as fast as you like, but you just twist the little nozzle ever so gently until it's all the way down. I've actually got a flat tire on my rear. So, <laughs> And then if I want to put this into... Um, a different position. All right, so to put this into a um, stoppy position, what I'm gonna do is take this strap off the back, which goes down to here. This little thing comes here. It goes inside the axle of the bike. So you take this out there. That, that comes with the, with the light lift as well, and the strap comes with it. So by having that in with the strap means it keeps the back end down, so it goes into wheelie position because where it, where it actually lifts the bike up in the middle, there's more weight at the front of the bike, evidently, <laughs> because there's an engine there. So by strapping the, uh, the rear axle to the little um, points at the back, well, quite, a, quite a, when I say little point, it's quite a big point, uh, it's very strong, it keeps the back end down so the nose goes up, which that's the position that I work in more often, having the nose up, because I, like to, I need to be getting underneath the nose of the bike, around the radiators, fitting sound bombs and lights and harnesses and stuff like that. Now, with nothing strapped connected to it at all. If I start pumping it up, you'll see that the uh, that back end now goes up. So the front wheel stays on the floor. And there's several points are along the, um, that, that, that's the maximum position there. But as I get to there, it's just, I can hear the gas now escaping at the top. So, and there's several points along here where if, you're, if you don't want to put your faith in this gas chamber here, you can just put the, 
the locking nut in position. So if I let it down a fraction, there we go. Put that in there. Now if I loosen off the, the valve, it just drops into position. So that cannot drop me. I can quite happily sit under this bike with all confidence knowing that it's not gonna drop on me because that locking, that, 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 that bolt is going straight through, it cannot drop. Right, so to get that back out again, we need to take the pressure off it, lift it just a fraction, so that's now loose. Put that locking pin back into its holder. Uh, we can't rotate the bike in this position because the, the front wheel is on the ground, but we can now loosen the valve, which brings the bike back down again. And let's now say we want to uh, lift the bike completely in a complete horizontal position. Now, I haven't done this actually ever since I've had the lift. So, because uh, I, I have no reason to do this. I just need to find the bit that I need to fit to it. One moment. Hmm. I know I had it hanging up here. Come on, where are you? Show yourself. No, come on, seriously, where, where is it? Ah, I've got it. I've got it. It was hiding. Found it. So this thing here. So by f attaching this to down here will mean we can uh, raise this completely horizontal. So all you do is you uh, pop the little pin inside this red extension. And this all comes in the kit, this does. Uh, if you wanted to, you could buy a spare one of these, so you haven't got to keep doing this every time you want to change the position. But I find that I don't even use this piece for what I'm using, but it would be handy if you needed to. Right, and then when you tighten this on, there we go, you then put the strap back on here. Pull that tight. Like that. And then you pump it back up again. So as you can see, it's now locked to a, a, a further position, you know, a position right at the very rear of the bike. So as I pull that up, that strap's going to keep the back of the bike in line with the bar so as the as the bike comes up it's coming up more level and there we are at the top so if i just spin that round so you can see it So if you like this bike lift, I think it's very reasonably priced for anyone to have. So um, like even if you're not working on your bike and you just want to store your bike and take the weight off the wheels in the winter, but push the bike right up against the wall inside your workshop so it's out of the way so you can get your car in on those winter days, well then this could be a really good solution for you. Wouldn't you agree? And there we are. What a fantastic product. It really is a fantastic, fantastic product. I couldn't be without it now. The amount of things I can do on this at without bending over. I can work on the bike. I can just lower it down a bit. I can work on these lights. I can work up here. I don't have to bend down. I can pull a chair up and just work at the side. And I even wash my bike on this. So I'll take it outside with a pressure washer and stick it up in the air with a nose sky in the air with a, with a towel right up in the, in, the, in the air so I can get it right underneath and get it all nice and clean. You can get right in there with this lift. As I say, it's very reasonably priced. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to get the bike off the lift. So I'm out of breath. I'm so out, out of shape at the moment. <laughs> so we're gonna bring it back down again. 
So all we're going to do is loosen this valve off very gently. It's a very quality, very high quality um, valve. So it just takes, as you can see, I've loosened that a little bit and it's already lowering. It's already lowering ever so slowly. Just twist it a little bit more. Let's more air out. And down it comes. Okay. So that, now that's like that. Loosen the strap at the back. Take that off. You can leave that bar on there if you really want to. Um, if you tend to have it in that position a lot, you can leave that bar in place. Don't forget to take that out. You don't want to be riding down the road with that in the back wheel. And then on this side over here, we, um, you start loosening this off just here. There you go. And then you've got another little thing down here which I'm loosening, this little handheld one, the hand tight tight thing. And then you've got uh, a big hex nut here, which is super tight to make sure this bottom piece doesn't slip. That's now nice and loose. This will now slide off. And as you can see, now I'm holding the bike with my left hand. I'm holding up because it could, it could fall against me. Okay, it could do, but it's, it's on a nice balancing point. It doesn't take any force for me to keep it here. And as you can see in here, this, this spindle here, this fitment just here, is specifically for every R1200, every, every GS that's out there. Uh, I th I th I'm pretty sure it is anyway. Uh, so that fits your bike no problem at all. If you have other bikes, you can get different sizes that fit inside here. And that, this literally just slides in and out. Where it's supposed to, well, that bit there comes out. It does, it does come out, I promise you. I've now got grease all over my hands. Right, so that's there. So making sure that the bike doesn't fall over. So on the other side, we've got another one. I'm holding the bike still with my right hand. We've got another one going in from this side. Now, uh, one, one thing I didn't mention is that you have locking casters all around the bike. I think there are two, uh, there could be three. No, it's just two, two locking, locking casters. I never bother with them, you should really, especially if you're on a very uh, slippy floor, you want to lock them in place. Um, so right now they're unlocked, so all I need to do is just push the bike slightly over one way and pull the whole trolley away. Comes away ever so easily. As soon as, as, soon as you've got it, because that is balancing now, I'm now gonna put the kickstand down, and there we are. It's now off, and then you can put that stored away at the side of your workshop. So I'm now gonna quickly jack this up, get the wheels off, take them down to the workshop and uh, down to the tire fitting center and put, put some new, new tires on. So I'm gonna put this, put this back on the ramp again. <laughs> so uh, may as well video that as well really. So to, to put it all back together again, put it all ramp back on again. We come up like this, we hold it, kick stand up, Push the ramp in, and you're basically lining up the the little uh, fitment inside the side there. And in comes the other side. Pop that inside that hole there. Tighten up the handheld one first. Then tighten up this one so you know it's definitely not going to come loose. You can now let go of the bike. That is now completely secure. Now what we're going to do is tighten this all the way in so we feel some resistance. And when this starts getting tight, there we go, it's now, I can see the force on it now. It's now pushing in there. It's trying to push this away, but it won't because it's tightened at the bottom. This is now firmly in place. That's not going anywhere. That is going nowhere. Right, so now, because I want to get the wheels off, um, I'm actually going to leave it in this position because um, it's quite a good position for it to be in to get the wheels off. So let's uh, put the uh, 
the, the special GS fitting inside the axle. Tighten that up. There we go. Pump it up. I'm getting the little pin ready. So when I've got a, a nice height. It's a bit, little bit too high. And in all honesty, I'm actually gonna take it all the way back down again because the, the wheels are pretty heavy, aren't they? So I'm gonna take it down to the lowest position where it's still off the ground. There we go. Stick the locking nut in. Take the gas out, don't need to, but I just know it's now locked in place. I'm happy with that. It doesn't matter if someone came along and loosened that, it's not gonna drop because the pin's in place. And now I've got complete free access to the wheels to take them off. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let's spin it around. So let's get that rear wheel off. Definitely a T50. Yep. So if you're going to save yourself a hundred pounds, over a hundred pounds every time you change your tires by taking taking the wheels off yourself, taking them down to the your local tire fitting centre and getting them to do it for you. You're going to pay for this ramp uh, within about four tyre changes, three or four tyre changes. There's one. There we are. <laughs> Look what I've just found. I think that's really, really bad. I must admit there is a white X on there, but I've, I've, I mentioned I've got a flat tire. There's a big X there, but if you look really closely, there's a great big screw, that great big screw right through the tire. Uh, and they didn't even bother telling me about that. So that's why I've got a flat tire. Right, okay, I'm gonna get these tires off. So if you want, if you're interested in this um, tail lift as a birthday treat or Christmas present or something like that, then I really, really recommend you buying it from me. There's a link down below of where to buy this. We ship worldwide, everywhere, okay? I don't ship it from here. I have, I've done a deal with the, the, the people who create this, this amazing bike lift. It must be the world's best bike lift, it has to be. It is in my opinion. Uh, but we ship this all over the world. So just go on the website, click down below, Put it in your checkout, in your basket. The, the, the checkout basket will intuitively know where you are in the world. Uh, if it gets it wrong, just say, that's the country I'm in, and the shipping will update. So I can't give you accurate shipping costs here, right now on this video, but uh, it, it's, all, um, it's all intuitive, and, and, it, and it, it'll, it'll update on the shopping cart to give you an idea of how much it costs, depending on where you are in the world. 
If you enjoyed this video, if there's any help to you, any use to you at all, please give me a like, a thumbs up, leave a comment on what you think about the lift or anything else you've seen here today. And um, if you haven't already, please subscribe because that is what really counts. I need you to interact with me and I need you to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.